Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at an album from 1992. The day was July 6th, and at midnight, Tower Records stays open for another half hour and sells any of the new releases because technically it becomes July 7th. So I used to go to Tower Records on Monday nights back in my 20s. It was one in Boston on Newbury Street. And I'm in there looking around through albums and a song comes on and I'm like, pretty funky. Then it turned into like a little bit metal. And I was like, I dig this. Then song two. Song three. And I had to find out who it was. So I went up to the front counter and I said, hey, what is? what are we listening to here? And they were like, it's the new release from 24-7 Spies. And I said to them, oh, for a minute, I thought Living Color got talented. This is great. And I bought it. And have been a huge fan ever since. I think it's probably one of the best bands of the 90s, late 80s, 90s. They're a great bunch of guys. You can hear a lot of Jimmy Hazel's influence in the songwriting. From funk to the fifth dimension to Philly soul to Stevie Wonder. It's just great stuff. This is the first full album with the new lineup, which had Jeff Brodnax on vocals, Jimmy Hazel on guitar, Rick Skator on bass, and Joel Maitoza on drums. They did an EP right before this and had four songs, and this was the full album. It's the only album with this full lineup, and it's fantastic. Let's take a look at the songs. Song one is a song called Break the Chains. That's the one that I was told you. It opens up with a real funky groove, sexy bass line, and then kicks into full-scale metal. Just great. Really the way hard funk metal should be done. As the band likes to call themselves, they are heavy metal soul. Song two, Crime Story, is a, probably a song that you would find just as relevant today as it was back in 1992. A great song, a great groove. Just really cool songwriting. Where uh, This one is a little bit more call and response in the hook, uh, but great. Song three, Judgment Day, brings us right back in to some of that old soul, the groove, and then the heavy stuff. It's the perfect blend of all these elements and it's something that I think um, should not be overlooked. It is terribly overlooked, this album. The fact that Living Color and King's X has such followings, this band should be ten times as popular, in my opinion. Song four has a reggae feel. This song is called Understanding. Another song, again, that's as relevant today. This one just happens to have a great groove. Um, I love it. I love the fact they do reggae. I love the fact that it's um, almost a little rock steady at points. It's really good. Song five, Got It Going On, is another groove type of song. Kind of reminds me, it could be like Prince influenced or could have influenced Prince. It has a real nice vibe. I love the guitar on this. Uh, I love Jimmy's playing. I think he's one of the more eclectic players that can bring in all kinds of elements and make it work. It just so happens Jimmy is also a friend of mine, and he is also an encyclopedia of music, if not more so than I am. Song 6, My Desire. Straight out funky. The Chili Peppers wish they were this funky. This song is hot. This reminds me of when the Chili Peppers thought they were funky. And then you hear a song like this and it just crushes. Great job. Song 7, Purple. A, uh, a tour de force. I love Joel's playing on the drums on this song. The double bass work. The groove. Just, um, I, I can't get enough of this record. I really dig it. Song 8 is Stuntman. Stuntman is a more high energy tune, uh, real with a quick groove, and again, great melodies, great harmonies. I love the singing. 
in the backgrounds. It's just great. Song 9 is a song called Earth and Sky. This is more like a ballad. Kind of reminds me of the Ohio Players sweet sticky thing mixed with Up Up and Away by the Fifth Dimension. Just some real nice influences in this. Beautiful melody. It's great. Song 10 is Room Number 9. This song is high energy. Makes you want to jump into a mosh pit even while you're driving. You're just sitting there throwing your body around. It's great. It's really good. And again, super musical stuff. This is not just heavy and uh, driving without having that strong melodic sense. And, and nice harmonic sense too. The chords that he's using. It's really nice. Song 11 is an instrumental called Surreality. And I think I'm pronouncing it right. I have no idea. But it looks like it's called Surreality. And um, it's nice. Maybe my least favorite on the record, but still a good song. Song 12 is a song called Last Call. Uh, this song influenced me a lot. I love the use of the chords, the groove. I love the harmony in the chords. I definitely would say this song influenced me when I was playing hard rock. Song 13, the anthematic I'm Not Going. Um, nice good song it's up there with the rest of them i would say maybe it's on the weaker side a little bit but it's still a great song it's hard to compare to some of the earlier songs purple my desire stunt man because those are like tens where this could be an eight and a half it's still a good song song 14 the album ender for me is really nice i love the harmonies in it the vocals I love the melody. I love the playing. It brings all the elements of old soul that I like and puts it in a rock format into a uh, heavy metal soul format. I love this band. Each album is always a little different, um, but this is definitely my favorite from them. It always will have a place. For me, it definitely makes my top 25 albums of all time. And... Um, it's an overlooked album, and I think you should check it out. I have the Spotify link in the description, so check it out. Come back and comment. Let me know what you think of these guys. As always, very good.